What's up, my soldiers? Wobbly Honor. Today I'm going to talk to you guys about Air Force Graduation Weekend. Now your first event is going to be your Airman's Run on the Thursday of your graduation weekend. Now your Airman's Run is a formation run that goes in a loop around Lackland Air Force Base. Your family is going to be there, they're going to be on the sides. Basically, you're going to meet up in front of the PT pad and you're going to be standing in formation. You're not going to see any of your family or friends yet because they're going to be on the other side of this bridge. So basically, you're separated, but you can still hear them. You can still hear them cheering. And it's kind of a great feeling when you start to come over the hill because you can start really hearing them rev up. So during the formation run, there's only like one rule, which is basically you can't look to the side. The airman's run is about three miles, if I remember correctly. I don't know if they changed it. You're going to run three miles every other day. So don't be concerned about will I be able to actually run that far. Like you'll be able to run that far by the time you get to it. After your airman's run, you're going to return back to your squadron. and You're not going to see your family yet. You're going to go back into your squadron and probably eat, shower, get dressed for your airman's coin ceremony. Now later that Thursday, you're going to go down to like the stadium kind of thing and you're going to do your Airman's Coin Ceremony. It's really nice. It's a retreat ceremony. So they're going to lower the flag. They're going to sing the national anthem. You're going to do your Airman's Creed, your Airman's Song. And then at the end of it all, you're going to have your coin and you're going to be standing at attention and your MCI is going to give the command dismissed. At the command dismissed, you're going to go to parade rest. At this point, you're going to stand here until your family or your friends come over and they tap you on your shoulder. And that's when you can move and you can like hug them and you can say hey and all that stuff. Now, before they get to you, you have to remain at the position of parade rest. So you have to be serious. You can't like you can't even act like they're standing right next to you until they touch you. I tried to keep my bearing, but it's too much when your dad or somebody is like, hey, what's up? And like they're coming up to you like real fast. Like you can't hold your bearing. I mean some people did but like you know you can you, you, you got to grin or something like you got to be happy So after that you're gonna have what's called a base liberty So you and your family are allowed to go pretty much anywhere on base There's some restrictions, but you can go pretty much anywhere during your base liberty You're not allowed to leave base yet a few places is the big BX the small BX You have a couple different restaurants on base You have movie theater a community center where they have a bunch of different video games and some food there's a gym if you want to go to the gym for whatever reason. And that's pretty much it. Like you pretty much can go to a few different places on base. Your family is going to return you back to your squadron and it has to be, I think it was like eight o'clock. You're going to say bye to your family, give them a little hug or whatever, go up to your dorm room. They're going to have to leave the squadron. They're going to have to either go to their hotel on base or off base or wherever. The next morning, you're going to wake up, eat breakfast, and then you're going to go to your airman's graduation. Now, this is basically either a pass and review or it's going to be an individual ceremony with just your flight. It depends on like the weather and just the general whatever's going on at BNT. Usually, though, it's a pass and review. A pass and review is a formation march where you march in a giant circle and you like salute your commander and stuff, and it's like this big ceremony. You're going to practice like five or six different times before you actually do the real thing, so don't worry about it. You're going to have plenty of practice. At the completion of your pass and review, you're going to have a squadron open house. So you and your family can go back to your squadron and this time they can go up to your dorm room. They can go into your room, they can see your bed, they can see your wall locker, they can meet your MTI, they can see your day room, they can see your bathrooms or your latrines. Pretty much the places that you've been living in for the past two months. Once you're done with that, then you're released for your town pass. Your town pass is basically you can go anywhere in the city limits of San Antonio. There's a few different rules though. You have to be in uniform, you cannot change clothes, you can't drive, you can't drink, you can't smoke, you can't do a lot of things. They're going to teach you about it all when you get there. A few things to do in San Antonio. You have the mall, you have the Alamo, you have the Riverwalk, you have uh, Six Flags, SeaWorld. One thing about SeaWorld, they give you a free ticket so make sure you take advantage of that and they also give you 30% off of everybody who's with you up to six people. So make sure you check that out when you go there. The only place that I can think to eat is Fogo de Chao. That's the only place I really heard often. Fogo de Chao is basically like a really expensive Brazilian steakhouse and it's like a buffet type thing. Don't go there and not be prepared to spend like at least two or three hundred dollars. It's pretty expensive. If you want to find somewhere else, I mean, you can't throw a rock in San Antonio without finding a place to eat. So you'll find somewhere. Now, if you have family and they're living in a hotel, then you can go to their hotel room. You can like hang out in the hotel room for a little bit. But you can't change clothes. If you change clothes and you get caught by MTI, you're pretty much going to get kicked out. Like you're you're going to be in some serious crap. Also, on your town passes, don't do anything stupid because everyone has the same like bald BMT haircut. So you're pretty easily identifiable. A, you're in your blues, and B, you have that stupid haircut. So everybody knows who you are. MTIs are everywhere, but they're just wearing jeans and t-shirts. So that way you don't know who they are. So make sure you keep an eye out. Make sure you just don't do anything stupid. Just keep yourself together. You came all this way. Don't screw up at the end. The next day is going to be another town pass. It's pretty much the same thing. On Sunday, you're going to have a base liberty. Now, the only way you can get a third town pass on Sunday is if you are a Warhawk. You got the Warhawk PT Fitness Award. You are in the honor flight or you are an honor graduate. 
You're going to be returned back to your squadron, whether you're on base liberty or town pass, you're going to be returned and you're going to have your final goodbyes with your parents and all that. If they have a bag, I'm pretty sure they can still give you a bag to keep. You're going to go back up to your squadron and you're going to get ready for Monday. Now, this is where it gets a little hazy for me because I wasn't in the new program. Now, the new program has what's called Capstone Week. Capstone Week is when you leave your old squadron and you're going to go to the 322nd Training Squadron. This is where the Capstone Week is going to be. If you want to learn more about Capstone Week, click this link right here. I've done a video about it. Now, from Monday until Sunday, you're going to be in your Capstone Week. So your family, you're not going to see them again. They're going to leave base. They're going to go away. And you're not going to see them again until after like tech school or during tech school, if they come to your tech school. On that Monday of the following week, you're going to go to your tech school and then you're going to be done with BNT. That's pretty much it. That's graduation weekend. But that's pretty much all I have to say about graduation weekend. If you guys have any more questions, leave them down in the comment box below. Make sure you like and subscribe to my channel. See you guys next time. Peace.